This week's Ask Dr. Dury comes from a gentleman who has a lingering question. That question is, how do we define cure? And this comes from a gentleman who's had an excellent response. He's actually been in a stringent, complete remission for over 10 years. The answer to the question is really uh, difficult, and uh, th this is why it is a lingering question. And the main reason for that is that myeloma is a little bit different than other kinds of cancer. The unique aspect to myeloma is that very, very tiny amounts of myeloma can persist in the bone marrow or in the tissues uh, for many, many years without leading to any active growth or relapse. And this means that although a patient can be doing extremely well and in an excellent remission, it doesn't exclude the possibility of a tiny, tiny amount of remaining myeloma. Now, it seems that in this case, uh, a majority of the time, this little bit of myeloma is under the control of the normal immune system. So the immune system for the patient has recovered enough with the treatment such that this tiny amount of myeloma which is left can be held in check uh, frequently for many years. Now, a majority of patients who are in remission for many years probably truly have complete remissions. In other words, every little bit of myeloma has been eradicated. And increasingly, this is likely with the new immune therapy combinations which we are using. And in this case, there is probably a true complete remission. But there are two categories now. So we have what can be called a functional cure, which is in patients where there may be a little bit left under the control of the body's immune system. And then true cure, where there really is no myeloma left, but very, very detailed testing is actually required to be sure of this, so frequently we don't really know. And so how do we define cure in that situation? Well, what we do is we assess what's called relative survival. And relative survival is where a patient lives longer than someone of the same age and the same other characteristics, uh, but do not have myeloma. So you're outliving someone who is matched to you but does not have myeloma. And so this is obviously a great, great thing. And this type of cure, whether it be still a little bit loosely defined, is really good enough uh, for, for most patients to, to accept that they're doing really, really well and most likely will never relapse uh, from the myeloma. So bottom line, this is a great question and often it's very, very hard to be certain but increasingly, the good news is that the new therapies are producing long, long survivals, and many of those will turn out to be cures.